See, there are times in our life that God will use your discomfort to bring freedom to others. People are watching you and I. Look, you and I are not equipped to avoid pain. We are equipped to push through pain. You are not just a survivor. You are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. Sometimes what you are conquering is just life. Sometimes what you are learning to conquer is discouragement and disillusionment. Sometimes it's just about being set free. Amen? And you'll find that in the midst of all this, that this is what, look, even if you got somebody and you or a friend, and like last night, this happened to me, one of my dear friends, a leader in, a, in First Nations uh, ministries, suddenly died of a heart attack. But let me tell you something, you guys. Life is overrated. And death, I think, is underrated for a follower of Christ. There's a whole lot more to be living for than this place, I'll tell you what. And even when you pass away, it's a suddenly, is it not? Suddenly, it all makes sense. I've spent my entire life trying to practice being a worshiper, so when I get there, I'm doing it pretty well. I got a long ways to go. But this is the way it works. Suddenly, even when life ends, it's not over. And God has given us this incredible ability to grieve and be thankful at the same time so that we can experience us suddenly. And so if you're here today and you're discouraged or dis discontent or in debt or even near death, I just want you to know, choose to finish well. That's your choice. Choose to trust as a matter of fact, Hebrews, I'll finish with this verse. Hebrews 10, 23. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds.